Hi, this is Andrew Terranova with Let's Make Robots. I was on a recent episode of Make Live with Becky Stern and Matt Richardson. Also on the show was this little guy, Spazzy, the Beatbot. Now, I'm a big fan of Spazzy and his maybe smarter brother, uh, Keep On. But uh, when I saw him at the show at, uh, while we were filming, I think Becky saw that I was excited. And she, so she offered me, since I don't have my own MakerBot, she offered me these cool printed parts for Spazzy. I was really excited. Now, when I got home, I looked up the project on, uh, on MakeZine.com, and um, the Maker Shed sells a package that lets you buy like the, the Arduino Uno and a Maker Shield and some other stuff, but it didn't include the solenoids. Now, the solenoids that they spec'd, uh, I looked up, and they were $18 each. Now, I don't know about you, but three solenoids at 18, that's times three equals um, too much money. So, I went out and I found some solenoids that were cheaper. I found these, which are very similar, for only $1.50 each. Now, they're not identical. There's some physical differences, and they're only rated for a 10% duty cycle, which means they should only be on 10% of the time, uh, compared to the ones that were spec'd at continuous duty. However, for $1.50, you could buy a bunch of these before you would lose money and burn through them. Right? So, let's just look at whether we can build a spazzy bot with these economy solenoids. We'll call it Econo Spazzy. So, what do we have to do? Well, first thing is we're going to have to make some changes on the solenoid itself, just some mechanical changes. Um, the plastic parts that you have printed for spazzy has a, a middle body part and this bracket has got to go including uh, this edge in order to fit through here and we're going to have to drill these holes ever so slightly larger because it's just a tiny bit too big to fit through. You probably can't see that. There we go. A little bit too big to fit through. So, small change on this piece. Grind off this piece. Now on the bottom the bottom almost fits. It's the right diameter, but that little connector on the bottom kind of uh, is a different shape and it, it doesn't quite fit. So we're just going to have to cut away a little bit on, uh, on this and I think we can use a Dremel for that and it should work just fine. Now I did test the electronics uh, out and I built the circuit that comes with the project just as it is uh, described on Mixing.com, and these work just fine. Uh, you have to cut down the spring, there was an included spring on the solenoid and you cut off about half of it, a little, a little less than half of it, just like it says in the project, you leave about six turns and then it works just fine. In fact, I'm running mine at about 9 or 10 volts, not even 12 volts, works great. At least as far as electronics is concerned, I haven't built it yet. So, with proper use of some power tools, let's see if we can build an Econo Spazzy. Well, that was fun, but did it work? Let's take a look. <laughs> 